Hey guys, welcome back to another repair video. This this one's mine actually. An old two BMW 530i. And for a while now, it's been a while. This seat, well, it's doing the twist twisty thing. Now, if I'm gonna work the the back only, okay, with this button here, it's only working the left side of the seat. You see this side. This side's not moving. Only this side is moving. Let me show you why. Now, I bet you if this was, if this happened, this was actually my fault, okay? Because of the child seat in the back, I kinda, I kept uh, pushing it a little bit, you know, you gotta go all the way, you know, and then one day it snapped. Actually, I didn't hear, really hear anything snapping, but it just quit working on one side. So it's been, you know, doing the twisty, twisties for like two years now. And I bet you if that happened on the driver's side, I'd probably fix it right away. But since, you know, I didn't care, not my seat, it's been a while. Anyways, let me show you why that happens. So very simple stuff. There's four bolts holding down the seat. These are T50 Torx bits. Okay, so as you can see or not, there's one bolt there, another one there. To get to these, all you gotta do is remove these. This one is for the the far side. Just gotta here bend these back a little bit. Be careful, not too much. These plastics will come up just on the back there. And nothing really, the plastic can stay on the front. Just move the seat back, obviously. For the rears, move the seat forward. For the fronts, move the seat all the way back. Undo the four and check this out okay hopefully you're gonna see this we're looking at this gear like thing over here okay i'm gonna move the seat you see it move all right that, that's the good side and that's the bad side not moving and you see the black cable this guy here you may not be able to see that now but that's gonna there's a mechanism inside there that's what broke the cable that drives the the thing broke away from this guy here so we gotta take this out the whole seat and this thing whatever this is this needs to come off there's a pin there's a pin right there i'm gonna figure that out in a second how to take that off i'll let you know and then this plug here this just this little tab just you know pry it out come this kind of cover comes out to protect the plug then you gotta simply pull on the black thing there like I did just now this guy and this should unplug there we go one hand obviously support the seat okay I'm gonna take a little tab out and I'll let you know how I did it all right guys before you remove or unplug it raise the seat up all the way this way up so you have more space in this area here so if you want to take out the seat fully out of the car there's a torx bit right here this guy here you can take that out i believe it's the same side the, the t50 torx bit so this belt will come out and then you can you know everything is including this thing you can then fully take the seat out this guy is very simple. There's this pin, you twist it. Just use a little screwdriver or whatever. Twist this part down away from, from this and then just take the drive the pin out and this comes out. I have no idea what this is for. If you do know, let me know. German engineering, no idea. Anyways, excuse the noise. It's the heater. Now I believe these little hooks need to come out to 
remove this fabric or oh, there's fabric leather here okay so this will come down there is what one two three six six of them so i'm gonna straighten these out then this leather will come out and then i'm gonna have access to the little phillips bolts which are just there okay so we're trying to get inside this, this mechanism okay where this cable goes inside that's the plan guys we got updates and i hope you watch the whole video <laughs> and you didn't just go step by step and pause you know and and uh did, did did something that i did and then unpause and watched a few minutes and then did it again because i ended up i aimed for the wrong side of the cable but if that's your issue you at least know how to take the other end apart which is right here and that's not it in my case this is still attached this side of the cable and uh yeah, this plastic piece, well, that's that's a son of a bee to take out the little five little Phillips screws. As you can see, I pushed this sponge, whatever you sit on, kept it away. This is not easy, by the way, uh, with this uh, little block of piece of plywood, really. And uh, once you take these five off, the, the back one is the hardest. Uh, but once you break it loose, it's easy. You kind of stick a screwdriver behind these green springs here and, uh, you know, undo that. So that I got to put back when I'm done. It's not, not going to be easy. And the culprit is right up top. I swear, each time I, re I record, the heater comes on. So this is this is the guy. This is the issue. You see it's twisted off. You see how messed up this is and you can see it being all mangled up inside there. Yeah, so to take that out, there's two little 8mm bolts. They look like this. 8mm. Unscrew the two the motor will become one side of it will become loose okay like so you can see it move then this will pop out oh yeah undo the harness first two plugs on top and this kind of just goes inside there it's actually some glue or grease on oh disaster What's this? Is it, what is it, silicon? Oh, and uh, Hitler left us a note. It was right up here. Let's see what it says. And I found a feather underneath the seat. What is this? Titan sil silver metallic, I guess that's the color of the leather. And what is this? Can you see? Can you guys see this? That's one word. Arbentas plat specificile. Yeah, all I know is in German is uh, Guten Titan, Scheiße. Eins fein drei. All right, so this basically pops in, and then the bracket that's on the motor catches this this lip over here and uh, keeps it in place. So what we're gonna do? You can see that this is kind of a crimper kind thing. It, you can see it's crimped there so what we're gonna do is we need to we basically need to shorten this a little bit get the good piece out and clean out that uh, hole there in the motor as you can see we have a bit of slack so we can use that you know no no need for a new cable guys okay just uh 
you know, use what you got. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to heat the metal part, heat it up with a small torch, and pull this away. The, pla the plastic is going to, this side, this cable is going to melt a little bit, or soften up, and then I'm going to pull this away, cut it a little bit, and then uh, cut this clean, so make sure it's a nice square. Jeez. Make sure this is a nice square. This turns and makes the you know seat twist. And uh put this back on, heat it up, put it back, put it back on, and shove it in there. Now, I should probably mention at the beginning of the video. What I should have said is watch the whole thing. But that's too late. But one thing you should do before you unplug it, well, you know, you can plug it back up. Uh, make sure the seat, the back seat is even, okay? Because once we put that in there, that's it. You know, the two are gonna come together and that's how your seat is gonna move together, the both sides. So I'm gonna have to plug it back in and make sure the seat is, the back, the, you know, the back support is straight. That was easy and quick. Okay, that's hot. So now we have a better view of this guy here. Now I need to cut some of this. Well, I don't. Well, let's see how deep this thing has to go in for it to work. Let's say maybe like. Three eighths, three eighths of an inch. This is three eighths. So this that, this much. That's actually exactly how far this is sticking out. So check this. So this is how much. So we got to take uh, you know an eighth of an inch. You kind of grind this off a, just a bit, make it square. Probably not. Maybe maybe not even necessary. Yeah, probably not even necessary to make this square. So what I'm gonna do. To make this stick out this much, because remember it was right here, right? So, so if that was here, this little amount was not enough. I'm talking just that. So we need this whole thing. So we need, we basically need to cut cut it right here. The length of this guy here. So about another three eighths. So that's where I'm going to cut it. And there goes the heater again. Just cut it nicely. Without cutting this guy, obviously. That would be bad news. And I don't want to know how much it costs. There we go. Now, all we gotta do is put this back. I'm gonna clean the inside a little bit. The plastic, the melted plastic, or whatever this is, it is plastic. Get rid of that so it goes in nice and smooth. You could probably use a lighter to heat this up if you don't have a torch. Actually, I'm going to heat it up separately, away from the plastic. Oh yeah. All the way. All the way. Uh, it's too much. It's a bit much. All right, so don't do what I just did. Don't push super hard, because that rubber thing will come out or push out a bit. But that's okay. And let this cool. 
The melted, melted plastic is going to keep this keep this uh, cable from coming out and now should be good to stick it back in oh no never mind actually still a little hot so now I'm gonna plug it back in and make sure that seat is straight so I gotta go to a break commercial break guys update I got good news and I got some bad news when you after you pop in that cable and you're ready to tighten up the, the first 8 mil bolt make sure you push up on the little motor so the cable the cable is nice and tight in there so check this out nice fixed now we're gonna work the front of the seat right that was the part, part of the back, which is the bad news. Now it's doing the twisties on the bottom part of the seat. This, this side is not moving. This motor is not. You can see that part going down and this guy not moving at all. Hmm. So I'm gonna figure this out and I'll let you know. Figure it out. Same same deal. So same story. You wanna plug it back in if you don't have it plugged in. Even the seat out, take a seat, you know. I actually whenever I even the seat out, I actually remove all my tools, put it down in, in good spots, you know, where the bolts go. I don't put the bolts in, just have a seat and then just figure it out. Now this part, evening this out, the actual seat is very easy. You put it down in its spot and if it's tilted the wrong way, if it's twisted, then one of these, one of these will be away from the floor. Okay, so you just want to make sure that it's kind of even on the floor that's that's basically it so i did that raise it back up and there's no, another motor so we just fixed this one this one here we just fixed and now we're fixing this one just above it same deal look this one is barely sticking out you can actually take these out oh come on you can pull these out twist on it if you want to if it doesn't go back in just twist it and there you go so same exact thing I'm gonna heat this up take it out cut it same length same amount heat it up again put it back in shove it in there and uh, yeah I still gotta put the necessary things I took apart from the back that should be it be back in a few. Hold on, check it out. Gotta love free repairs. And there's the heater again. And guys, this is an O2, 20 year old car. Look at the state inside and outside. All right, guys. So, if this video helped you out, subscribe, like the video, if for some reason didn't help you or you hate it, dislike it. See you next time.